Hey Tony, it's Friday, and first off, to answer your question of the week, your punishment is going to be you have to clean shave your face. Thought long and hard about that punishment, that's the one that kept coming up, so you gotta shave. Um, and now, what I want to talk about this week is another movie review, but it's going to be a little bit different, because I'm not just going to review the movie itself, I'm also going to review my experiences in a similar situation. So, there was a movie that just came out on on Hulu called Professor, Professor Marston and the Wonder Woman. It's about the creator, Dr. William Marston, who was, I'm sorry, it's about the, the psychologist, Dr. William Marston. He was the creator of Wonder Woman, but he also was, for the majority of his life, or the majority of, the, of his late life, uh, he was in a polyamorous relationship with his wife and their life partner, Olive Byrne. And... So as you know, Taylor and I have been in a polyamorous relationship for about six months now with Jay. And uh, Jay was scrolling through the movies and was like, oh, we need to watch this. And so we did. And it was a really, really good film. And it let me kind of uh, compare it to my own experiences in a polyamorous relationship. And it's it was really interesting because a lot of what happened in, in the movie was fairly comparable to my life in which we actually made the joke in which uh uh all of the life partner of William Marston and his wife Mary she was the one who ended up taking the middle the middle of of the bed as when they were sitting laying on it which is really funny cuz when we all lay down when we all lay down to go to bed at night uh Jay takes them takes the middle and it's it was that was just kind of a funny little thing that we saw there, but it also was a really good representation of healthy polyamory. I mean, like it it was certainly dramatized, and there certainly were issues because it ha the movie itself takes place in the twenties through the forties, so it was not necessarily as accepting of the time as we are in now. And even still to this day, like polyamory is frequently not it's not necessarily a protected class. Um, there are there are situations in which someone could be punished or fired or something else could happen for being in a polyamorous relationship. Now, it's not it's not illegal because you can have... It's not illegal. The only thing you can possibly step into is into a divorce proceedings involving adultery, but it is not usually used as that, and that frequently only happens at the very end of a relationship in which a husband and wife decide that it's not working, and that's one of the reasons you can use. Um, but it's kind of... Now, I'm by no means an expert in, poly, in polyamory. I've, I've only personally been involved in about six months, but it, it was a really well-done film, and it really kind of let me so look, in, look into it in my own life as well, in which aspects of being polyamorous and having a partner. Now, Jay and I... Or sorry, Taylor and I love Jay very much and it was a really nice it was a really good movie because we got to we saw ourselves in it not in the least of which because uh uh dr marston's wife was actually a uh, graduate of mount holyoke college which is jay's alma mater so as soon as that happened they had a really great scream screaming fit and were like they were just shouting they were they were so happy about that it was and it was just kind of funny but it was the movie itself was incredibly well done. Um, the story of it itself covered uh, William Marston's, basically when him and his wife first got together with Olive Byrne towards to his death. Uh, in that time, he was fired for being polyamorous, and uh, Wonder Woman became a big hit. But it still dealt with a lot of cases of censorship, a lot of cases of um, government overreach to try and shut it down because it was the it was the 40s when she came out and a lot of the movie a lot of the comic book itself had a lot of aspects of bdsm um but also like radical feminism as well which was not particularly popular back in the 40s and we still not particularly popular today in, cer in certain regards and it was really kind of interesting to draw the parallels to what they went through then to what we're going through now um, the three leads play were excellent, like truly excellent. Like you really, they really played their parts fantastically. 
and their chemistry between all three of them was fantastic. Uh, I'm sure they took some liberties with the history of it, with the history of the relationship, as you would in a in a Hollywood film. But the main point of it was still that all of Byrne, uh, Mary Marston, and William Marston were together for years, and after William Marston's death in 1947. Or sorry, 19, yeah, 1947, his wife and his partner ended up living for 30 plus more years uh, together. And it was really kind of, it was not a happy movie because I mean, it's a biographical film. So, you know, it's going to be sad. You know, there's going to be issues with that. But all in all, I heavily recommend it. And it, whether you're polyamorous or not. I thought, I thought it was well done, and it's one I would love to watch again. Like, we're already planning on getting the Blu-ray of it as soon as everything opens back up. But that that's this video. So, Tony, my question for you is, what are some of your opinions on polyamory? Because I know some people are a little unsure about it. Others just aren't quite sure what, what it's all about. So I'm curious what your opinion is, Tony. Tony, I'll see you on Wednesday. Later, bro.